So if you're new to Salesforce S4 QLs, I'm just uh, take you to like what are the basics available in S4 QL and how can you write in a simple way so that you can query for any object data information like uh, cross object reference fields or like parent child, child to parent and much more from here right so to write any queries let me open like i have simple nodes that i created for a quick reference log so there are different types of relationships available we have like a three different let's categorize this for in three different queries like one is like a simple query parent to child and child to parent simple query means now you are seeing right we select id type name from account this is like a simple class so if we can go a little d so any select statement will start with select keyword and it have a fields fields i mean a subject fields and from keyword your s object api name where class and then conditions then you will be having ordered by ordered by fields ascending or descending however you want it and limits if you need anything any limit number and you have offset and offset varies from 0 to 2000 is the maximum thing so you cannot have offset more than 2000 and less than zero. So this is a simple structure of any query that Salesforce will contact. This is a simple query. What if I make as a parent? Let's go back. I'm just going to a developer console. Now, if I want to write my simple query, so what I'm saying, select id fields i mean to say fields name comma type from account a simple query for something like this if i wanted to include account where character where i need to get only those accounts where type equal to type not equal to blank then i'll say type not equal to null right so now what happened we got only type so i need to get i can also use the under operator to say and name like and i'm saying name like should always says it should contain a so when i say a it can be any values like before and it can be any values after any combination but in entire name it should contain a character so we got like a if i say name should always starts with a or name should always starts with b now the name the query now the query looks the name starts with b and with any references now you can see only one query we got it if i say you you can see whatever the matches that it will come let's say i need to get you and i should get oil and i say let's say o and i said so it should contain u and o with any combinations now you can see only U and O, Arizona. Now if I say I, what happened? It should contain U and O I with any combination in middle. Now you can get the, the combination. So this is how we can use a like operator. And the same way we have this one. Let's say, let's do a workaround with a different way. Imagine that I'm writing my contact query, select ID common name from contact from contact so now in contact object if i go to a contact object setup i just want to know we know the relationship between account and contact is lookup right there is a one relationship we already had in the system provided by salesforce which is a standard relationship and if i go to contacts and relationships you can see account name if I open my account name, you don't you can see a field name, right? But field name is different from field API name. 
So if you want to know the actual field names or API names, you can say contact SOAP API, which will open your Salesforce documentation about a contact com object complete information. In that, we can choose the API names from an object. Now, what is the field name that it is using? Account ID, which is a reference ID. It will save an ID of an account. So now I'm saying account ID. Now you can see there is a contact which have account ID. Perfect. Now, with this, I can't say which account name it is related to. So what I wanted to try to get, I need to get my account object name field. Now, how can I do that? Field name. So now you need to use your field name. Now you need to use your field name. I'm copying it and I'm pasting it. And which field I wanted to read? Name field. Where I'm reading from account object. See? It's not just name field. You can get whatever field you wanted from account object. Let's say if I wanted to read my account object ID. I can say account. This account is not an object name, guys. Remember, this is a field name on your child object relationship. Okay. So it looks like account. It's okay. But if it is not something like account or something else, then you can use this way. ID execute. Now you can see you got IDs. But the remember. The particular field account ID is coming from account object, which is a reference object field. Whatever the reference object fields in your query, those fields are read only. They cannot be editable. Let's see. If I'm trying to edit, I can able to modify the value, right? But if I try to edit, this is a read only field. It will result object object. I can't do. Even I'm deleting it. It is not doing it. So remember, when you can also refer your parent object. Like, see, the one we are talking about is a standard object relationship what if i have a custom object relationship let's go back here in contact i created one custom object field reference to account called second account second account now i'm taking this field now i'm taking this field i'm going to a query editor so i'll say instead of account id i'll just replace with account and I also add where condition, I will get only those contacts where second ID not equal to null. Execute. Now we have only one account in the system, so we got it. Now if I want to read my parent object field, if I want to read my account name here. See in standard object we saw we went to documentation, we find the account and we created. And in the documentation we use contact and we use a contact. I mean, uh, yeah, this is like account and we use a field name dot parent field name. What if it is a custom object? If it is a custom relationship field, then you need to use your API name only. You have to use API name because you are referencing to other object field, the parent object field. Instead of C, you need to replace with R dot name, parent field information fields. Now you can able to get the information, right? So this is one way of doing so. If it is a standard field, you don't want to mention underscore underscore R. But if it is a custom object field, if it is a custom field or custom reference, then you need to replace your API field name with double underscore C should to be double underscore R dot parent field fields. Okay, this is one way. This query is what we are getting, what we are gaining from here. We can able to read our parent information inside a child query. Let's talk about the other way of around now. What if I want to read my, what if I want to read my, a child information inside a parent query. Let's say I write I wrote a query something like ID comma name from account. So I got my accounts. Now I need to get the related contacts. I need to get my contacts too. Then because one account can have a multiple contacts. In this way, you can't refer a field names directly. So what for what Salesforce suggests here? Salesforce suggests you to write a simple inner query. Select ID comma name from which object contact object. But here the remember there is a instruction. So you should know on what field you wanted to query the information. Let's say if you are trying to get a contact which are related to account name, then you need to go back to your account name inside your child object, account name, and then there is a field called child relationship name, child relationship name. Because this is a custom standard field, so you can directly use the child relationship name and you can do a query. You got your child information inside parent. 
let's say we also have a custom field we also have a custom field called second account second account how can i do a query based on second account so again let me write another in the query select id comma name from now i need to know the child relationship name what is the child again i need to go to my custom field inside a contact object which is related to account from there you can find a child relationship name called second contacts copy that paste it and concatenate with double underscore r double underscore r see it doesn't mean that you are, you can have only like this so let's say if i want to get my account name i can also refer again my parent object information if i need it if it is really needed that still i can refer contact that account object now you can see name is showing up object object but if you can refer because this is a child inside another query that's not a recommended way but still you can able to access your parent field information clear so if you have any question please keep me posted i'll try to address of your concerns thank you so much